Well, I, I am fighting Babalu Sobra, which I know that he is a legend. You know, he's been around for a long time. He's fought some of the best fighters in the world. And I've also looked at, you know, his record. The guys that have beat him have been legends. You know, I feel like this is probably the turning point in my career. Do you want to make it big or do you just want to stay in small time? Um, you know, I, I'm a really good striker. I consider myself a good striker. I have a lot of power. And in the last couple of years, I've kept my eye on Babalu. And, you know, I've, I've looked at his, his fights and I worry about his chin. And I'm not worried about it. I think he should be. But the thing is, is with this fight, I almost don't look at it as a fight. I almost look at it like he's prey. You know, I want this fight. I'm going after him. I'm going to try to take his head off. And I don't know about any of the other guys, and I'm not taking anything away from everybody, anybody he's fought, but I don't know if he's ever fought a 205 with my kind of power. You know, of course, i got to land those shots. I've got to watch out for the takedowns. I'm well aware of that. And I think, you know, with him having so much footage on you know, online and me being the type of fighter that I can beat you anywhere, I can beat you standing, I can beat you on the ground, if I know everything about you and all you can do is get me to the ground, you will not get me to the ground, and I'm going to knock you out. Well, my, my thoughts on the tournament and uh, about me rematching, you know, Seth Bertazzelli or King Mo, I'll be honest, I, I've already beat Seth. I don't have anything to prove. I want Mo, and the reason I want Mo is because, you know, I know he's getting all the highlight, and that's, I feel like I deserve that. I'm a hard worker. Nobody knows who I am, which is good. I'll be the sleeper, but at the same time, you know, I earned this. I deserve it. But, you know, if Seth beats him, that's fine. I'll give him that rematch. You know, the last time that we fought, he said that his knee gave out. It wasn't that long ago. That was in January. I don't know if he's had time to heal, but I don't want to hear any excuses. If I beat you, I beat you. Give me my respect. You know what I mean? Um, the thing about Seth, you know, I like the guy. I have nothing against him, but he just tries to be a comedian. You know, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm here to kick your ass. That's what I do. You know, so... You know, he can be funny and try to be a nice guy all he wants, but, you know, when that cage door closes, man, it's business, you know. And if he wants that rematch, that's fine. I know he's going to probably bring a different game. Hell, he's been able to look at me and fought me himself, so he'll get a second chance at it. But if I beat him the first time in the first round, if it goes to the second, that's fine. It might, but I think it's going to be the same outcome. So, are you talking about the 205 division? You know, obviously, that's, that's the tournament. It just signed Rampage. What yeah. Are, what are your thoughts on Rampage well, signing with Bellator? There's a possibility you could fight him. Well, there's been a lot of talk about that. Matter of fact, I just, uh, with, you know, Rampage signing with Bellator and, you know, us both being from Memphis. You know, I, like I said, I came up with the guy. You know, we went to the same high school. You know, I know business is business and you got to do what you got to do. I don't really care for that fight, but at the same time, I feel like that, you know, he's had the experience, he's had the injuries or whatever, been around for a long time, but hey, I'm just as big of a threat, you know, so if it happens, it happens. If not, you know, I'd, I'd like to remain friends with Rampage. I really like the guy, have nothing against him. We both went to the same high school, Raleigh Egypt High School in Memphis, and we both know the same group of people. So it will cause a lot of controversy and a lot of stuff, a lot of our friends to be upset, but you know, whatever happens is what happens. You know, I, I feel like I'm prepared for anybody, no matter who it is, especially being over here with this team. You know, they put together the best game plans, one of the best teams in America. So, you know, with my heart and determination, there's not anybody with their help that I can't beat. So I'm not really worried about it. I'm just going to take one fight at a time. They were saying something about, you know, with uh, me and Rampage being a main event in Memphis. So that, that'd be awesome. But, uh, you know, I'd like to be, fight there. I don't know about fighting him, but... You know, I'll be prepared, and I feel like I could do pretty good in that fight. You know what I'm saying? So whatever, whatever is whatever. You know, if it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. It doesn't matter to me, you know.